Did you know every year multiple asteroids almost hit Earth? But let's check out this amazing video that's going to show us what happens if one of those suckers gets through. So like, don't get too personally attached to anything in this world, because we almost die all the time. Subscribe to Metal Ball Studios for more epic stuff, and let's get into it. This is going to be sexy. Asteroid impact comparison. I guess, hopefully, the only thing you can really hope for in this situation is that it lands somewhere else. Like, I'm sorry, other humans on the planet, but I want to survive. Whoa, Hiroshima's 15,000 tons of TNT, the SAR bomb is 5 million tons of TNT. Really, it would only blow up that amount of space? Like, the, the Eiffel Tower's not that big. Are nukes not that big? Someone told me if, like, a needle was going the speed of light into Earth, we would all explode, but I don't know. No one's tested it. Just a bunch of nerdy science talk. All right, so a four meter sized meteor. What's crazy? No, I almost made a really dumb dad joke and I really stopped myself right there. What's that? Okay, so most meteors that size break up in our atmosphere. Our atmosphere actually protects us a lot. The atmosphere is a homie. Okay, so a 20 meter, meter, meter sized meteor. You know, the meteor hitting us isn't the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario is it was carrying some sort of alien bacteria that rapid evolves and is viciously horny. Okay, is this one going to make it? How much does our atmosphere stop? I feel like it's gonna stop this one too. We got a hell of an atmosphere. Yeah, dude. We have like protective sh- Oh sh- Oh damn! They broke into pieces. The next one's gonna be big enough to not be stopped. That's crazy to think about. 50 meter meteor is crazy. Look how delicately it balances at the very bottom. Wow! Frequency every 900 years, something like this happens. That's crazy, dude. Every 900 years. So this one's gonna get in there. Oh, damn! Dude, our meteor is still protecting the crap out of us. I don't even know anyone. Oh, that's New York. Yeah, I don't even live there. Sorry, everyone in New York. I, I'm sure you're all great, amazing people, but... You're very far from where I live, so I'd prefer land there. You know what I'm saying? Plus, you guys have Spider-Man. Okay, so a 90 meter one comes every 4,500 meters or years. Damn! Woof! That's a spicy meatball. Well, luckily, those only come every few thousand years, so we should be fine. Unless that few thousand years is now. Oh, that's like death. 370 meters? One of these comes every 100,000 years. What? That could be tomorrow. It's literally statistically just as likely for it to be tomorrow as it is any other day. Woo! Not gonna lie, this might negatively impact the economy. Wow, at least it's a quick instant death though. You know, except for like the 10 minutes of seeing the giant flaming ball hurling towards you, knowing impending doom is drunk. What if you just jump in the water? Couldn't you just go underwater? Think about it, something. What the hell is a kilometer? I think that's like a, over a mile or under a mile or... Damn it, I'm too American for this. Either way, every 500,000 years. So like, but again, statistically just as likely to be tomorrow as it is any other day. Or yesterday, oh God. Damn, this one's got some buildup. That's like all of New York, the state. Oof, I think that's more than New York, the state. Where's New Hampshire? Yeah, I'm in California. I, 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 I like thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers to everyone <laughs> who was a victim of this tragedy. But I'd prefer land over there. Okay. This one every 490 million years. Damn. But again, just as likely to be tomorrow. This one might affect California a bit, actually. Oh dear. I think it's gonna land right on us. Where is this on a map? I'm actually so confused. I guess it doesn't matter, right? At this point, this is gonna affect everybody. Holy crap! Oh dear, that fire is still spreading. Dude, what a massive fire wave. I think that was like 
like freaking Washington. So I'd be vaporized. Whoa, dude, it would explode or expose the Earth's magma. Yeah, it looks like it just barely got down to Mexico. Actually, Los Angeles might have just barely made it. Every four billion years, what are these babies drops? That's freaking ginormous, dude. Oh dear, I think that's Mexico, but the other, the rest, it's definitely not because the map doesn't shape around it. <laughs> I don't know where this is. Oh, freaking duh, it's not America anymore. We're in Europe. I don't know why I was thinking of America. Honestly though, if it's gonna land somewhere, I am so sorry to every European out there. You all deserve life as much as everyone else. I'd rather it land over there. That sucker's, oh my God. A chunk missing from earth that big. At this point, we're all gonna die. Race? This is like what Frieza did to planet Vegeta. Man. Can you imagine the day after? How would we even like, what would we even do? It's the entire top side of earth. Oh no, they get bigger. Okay, so note, if ever a 940 kilometer frick every 4 billion years, I like those odds. But again, just as likely to be tomorrow as it is any other day. Dude, the freaking epic music makes me think this one's kaputs for us. Yeah, at this point, I'm, at this point, we're all goners, dude. Look at the size of that thing. Damn. This is crazy. In my last moments on Earth, I don't know what I'd do. I'd either go pet my dog or punch my neighbor in the face. There's time for both. Oh boy. This is why Elon Musk needs to get us to Mars ASAP, bro. So we can just peace out if this starts happening. Because NASA will be able to determine its trajectory long before. They'll be like, yeah, in approximately six months, we get hit by a meteor that'll destroy the planet. So we got six months to get to Mars. Honestly, if the very modern remains untouched, I might be good. No, no, at, at this point, I'm sure I'm dead. There'd be something peaceful about everyone on Earth dying at the same time, though. Like, we all go out together. Can you imagine the line in heaven after that? Oh, my God. Or hell. Wow, that's crazy, though, dude. It'd be like one of those movies where we have to send, like, a mission of, like, highly skilled people on a freaking spaceship for some super high-risk, small chance of survival mission to blow up the asteroid. I'd go on that mission. Because you know you're going to get a super sexy statue after. I suppose only if you win, though. If you do it, you probably die. But again, the statue. Men are mortal. Statues are immortal. This video is freaking wild, though. Subscribe to this channel for more of this epic scientific stuff. Leave a like, subscribe here, too, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>